Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have the Eight of Wands energy here. Okay, let's see what this Eight of Wands is. We have the Three of Cups energy. Okay, I need something else because it looks, from where I'm looking at it, it looks like some type of attack on some people. That's what it looked like to me. It looked like some type of attack on a group of people, on a community, on a family, uh, people that stick together, people that are very much bonded together. It, that's what it feels like to me. Wow, we have the nine of wands energy here. Okay, let me get something here. It's a lot of fire that's surrounding this connection. It's a lot of fire. It's a lot of it looks like people coming for whoever whoever this three of cups is they're coming for it like it could even be just your happiness just your celebration your positive energy it's like there's something that's shooting towards it it's like it's it's almost like as if somebody's a target or like these people are a target in some kind of way okay and they need to be up on game they need to be alert to what is going on here they need to have their guard up we have the two of pentacles here. It looks like some type of somebody's trying to work on something. They're trying to make something happen. They're trying to finalize something or situate something. They want some type of results here. Okay, we have the five of wands energy. There could be some type of problem because they're not getting the results because something is still not balanced or something is still, it's just not working. We have the strength card here. They're like, damn, these these are strong. These people are strong, or this group is strong, or these people that are connected, they're too strong to be taken down. They've been targeted. They've been targeted, but they're stronger than the people that's targeting them or the person that's targeting them. They're like, why can't why can't we take this person down? That's their problem. Wow, we got the nine of swords here damn they could fear somebody they could fear somebody because they can't take them down they've been trying <laughs> they've been trying to do this shit for i don't know how long and they cannot they've lost control they've lost power they tried to aim at this this soul tribe or community they tried to aim at them but their power together and in their unity is too strong for them to take them down. They're too strong. Let me get something here with this Eight of Wands energy. We have the Four of Wands energy here. Okay, and it's aimed at some type of structure. It's like, wow. This is big right here. Three of cups is right here. And then the four wands, it makes me feel like it's a structure. It's a it's a structure with a lot of people, but these people are very unified. They're very connected. And it's something here that cannot be penetrated. It cannot. They're really, really trying to target this community. They're trying to target this community. And they're not, they're not winning here. We have the lovers card. And it's right here with the three of cups. I'm telling you. And when I seen the three of cups, I did think kingdom. Actually, when I seen the four of wands and the three of cups right here, I'm like, that looks like a kingdom. That's a kingdom of people. And the lovers is about the kingdom. That's the union. That's the commitments right there. These people are really, they're really strong together. They're a soul tribe. They are a soul tribe and they're a very strong soul tribe and they're a very unified soul tribe 
and it's a very clear thing. It's like, okay, this is a group of people. Okay, a very strong group of people. Let me get something here with this Nine of Wands energy. Very strong group of people that they cannot defeat. We have the Six of Cups energy here. Six of Cups energy is definitely past life connections here. Wait, that's way too many. Past life connections here. Memories. Bonds here. These people are connected by... Like it transcends time. It transcends time. These people have always been connected. In some way, form, or fashion, they've always been connected. And that's why they have that level of protection. And they've been trying to take these people down for lifetimes. For lifetimes. They've been trying to remove... We have the Emperor energy here. Let me get something here. Aries energy. This may be the person that's doing this. This may be the person that feels like they can't win. We have the Two of Wands energy here. Now, there could also be... Okay, I'm about to say there's there could also be another move that's being made. Or maybe this is this emperor leaving this whole mission behind or aborting the mission. Because there are certain... Man, if y'all only knew. It feels like there are certain... I want to say organizations, if you want to call them that. Or maybe we can call them soul tribes. We can call them soul tribes that were told their mission is to destroy this soul tribe and they've been keeping that mission alive for a very long time but it looks like the person that's in control right now they're abandoning that because thank you spirit they're abandoning that because it's not it's not working it's not getting anywhere it's not it's like a waste of time it's a waste of time. Somebody could be doing other things. Somebody has more life to live. Somebody wants to love. That's what I think it is. That's what I think it is. I think somebody does not want to do this because this emperor is right next to the Six of Cups. I don't think they want to do it. I think they want to abort it. I think they understand connection and love and all that kind of stuff. Like maybe this emperor, maybe they changed. Maybe they're older. Maybe they done had kids and grandkids and everything else. And they're not the same as when they found out about the mission and they was about the mission and all that kind of stuff. I don't think. Yeah. Let me get something here with this strength card. They're like, leave these people alone. They may not be saying leave these people alone, but they're more so saying, like, I have other things to do. You know? Like, yeah, I want to destroy them, but it's not working. So I got other things to do. I can't keep giving my energy and my life and my whole entire everything, my existence to this mission. Somebody's like, I feel like somebody's really waking up. I'm getting a lot from this two of wands. I really feel like somebody wants to leave the whole shit behind. They're like, damn, I've been in these walls this whole time. I've been stuck in the bounds of these walls this whole time. I need to step outside of these walls. I need to go beyond this. Yeah, the sun card. Somebody feels the light. Let me get something here. Wow. Somebody feels the light. That's beautiful. We got somebody waking up out of their animal spirit for real. Because you can still be an emperor and be in your animal spirit. That's the worst. I'm just saying. You can be an emperor and be in your animal spirit. But if you're an emperor and you're in your emotion... I mean, not even emotional. Your spiritual... You know, it is emotional too. You're connective. Like, if you're an emperor with all of that, then you are really a leader. But like a down-to-earth emperor, they're more worried about control. They don't give a fuck about nothing else. Like, you're not going to step outside of these bounds. You step outside of these bounds, you know what's going to happen. But somebody's abandoning that because these people, you it's like you're trying to control water. You can't control water. Okay, let me get something here. We have the Hierophant energy here. 
I do feel like it's somebody that maybe they're realizing that this is a real organization or this is really something that may be inspired by God. It may be something that they did not understand, like certain titles, okay, or certain organizations, certain, um, let's say, institutions also, certain knowledge. It's like maybe they just didn't understand. But this Hierophant is falling here with the Strength card, so it's a very strong energy because it's overpowering whatever plans this Emperor has been taught or told that they have to proceed with. Yeah, we have the Hermit card here, Virgo energy, also Taurus, Sagittarius energy with the Hierophant. But the Hermit is here with the Nine of Sword. It's like they're seeing it. They're gaining wisdom. They're seeing it. It's turning them from the outside to the inside. Like the battle that they could not win. They're seeing like, damn, there must be something more powerful than. It's crazy how everybody finds their spiritual self like everybody's path is crazy some people have to literally destroy everything before they be like damn why did i do that okay some people it's different for everybody that's all i can say but for this person this is how theirs came about they were given a lot of power before they were even spiritually ready for it and they were just told to dominate they were just told to do what they're told you have power do this yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. And it's even something I feel like was passed down, like bloodline or some shit like that. And it's like, no, you don't care about these people. You destroy these people. You keep these people in their place. You do this, you do that. But somebody's like, damn, like I'm losing control. Like it's not the same fight that it used to be. It's not as easy as it used to be is what I'm hearing. They're like, this is a real institution. This is a real thing in this world or this is a real people this is a real tribe this is a real thing they're realizing it. they're seeing it for themselves it's like they're awakening to the truth of what was really going on instead of just taking orders and it's causing them <laughs> it's causing them discord because i think they have for a long time thought that they had to destroy whoever those people are whoever that soul tribe is yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles here. I'm telling you, I feel like there's some bloodline type shit right here. Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. This is a structure. This is something that could have been passed down. And I'm telling you, this is the structure right here that's attacking this soul family. These people that are very united. They're more united than anything. And that's what this emperor is realizing. They're seeing that they're not getting the results that they're looking for. They're wasting all their time and energy and life on some old mission that they're not going to win because they realize the shit is more powerful than they ever thought like this shit may have had influence in the past but it doesn't have the same influence high priestess energy yep it's something here about seeing the future knowing the path okay being wise knowing the wisdom sharing the wisdom opening people's eyes to hidden knowledge here Okay, opening people's eyes to the truth. This is what these people do. I don't know who these people are. It doesn't have to be the intuitive community. There's a lot of soul tribes that wake people up or they know certain secrets or they... There are soul tribes. I'm, I'm not going to say there are many, many, many. Okay, because I think this is a big soul tribe with the three of cups and the lovers i think this is a big soul tribe i think it's a very big soul tribe and it's a very powerful soul tribe okay let me get something here but they can't take these people down they just can't take them down and they've been trying i feel like they've been trying a long time i told you pass down they've been trying a long time to take the kingdom down you heard what i said we have the seven of swords energy here yep with every type of tactic and deception and every damn thing. And it's like these people see through it. High Priestess is right there. High Priestess can see all of that manipulation. Okay? Because High Priestess can look through the material. They can look through your words. They can hear through all of that. Okay? Or what you show, they can see through all of that. 
It's a very powerful soul tribe is what I'm talking about. Like, I'm not even playing. It's a very powerful soul tribe. And they can see the tactics. And it's like they're just getting stronger and stronger. The more they try to attack these people, the stronger they get. Nine of Wands. They take it and they get stronger. And the Emperor is like, damn, like... And I'm supposed to tell somebody to start this mission when I see how hard it is and it's impossible. And I see it's like something here I feel like has declined. Like, I think maybe in the past, maybe maybe it kind of worked a little bit. Maybe the manipulation tactics and all that shit worked. But I think that shit is not working no more. It's not working. And it's like, damn, I'm supposed to pass this down to my children and tell them all of this bullshit and then ruin their life. Like how these people that passed it down to me ruin my life. It's something like that, man. I'm not even playing. Somebody about to let that shit go. They about to let let whatever it is be. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. They about to just let it be. It's God. That's what you call it. But they about to just let it be. And that's the best thing that they can do. Yeah. Ain't that what I just said? Four of, four of sort right here. That's somebody that's just. They're just accepting whatever it is. Okay, truce, you got it. That's what this that's on the emperor. They're like, okay, we're not gonna do no more manipulation. We're not gonna we're not gonna manipulate no more informational stories. We're not gonna make no more strategic plans. We're not gonna do this. It's somebody that's just stopping. They're stopping the whole war. Or they stopped the whole war. They're even like these people don't even attack us. This soul trap does not even attack us. Why am I attacking these people? Because I was told to. These people don't even attack me. They don't attack us. They don't do nothing to us and they spread truth. And they like, so why are we attacking them? That's what somebody's saying. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy somebody's waking up. It's somebody here that just was given orders. They were following the orders and it's just like, okay, destroy these people. And that's what they've been trying to do. And it's just like, they can't. And they're like, damn, why was I told to do this impossible mission? Somebody's waking up. We have the five of wands. It could even be like just a situation like you would. Somebody was told to hate a certain type of people like you have to hate them. You have to hate them. We are against them. That's what somebody was told. And they're like, damn, why was I against these people for so long? Why have I been attacking these people? Why have I been, you know, making people's lives much harder? Or like, why haven't I been accepting these type of people's application? That kind of shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, it's somebody here that's like, damn, why have I been so nasty to these people? Why have I done this? What have I done? Like, why did I do this? Somebody wants to leave this shit behind. Five of wands right underneath the two of wands. They want to leave it behind. They want to leave it behind because it's not a battle that they can win. And I really think that they're seeing that. Like the, the ones before them really thought that they could win the battle, but they're they've lost the battle. The battle has already been lost. It's just a matter of realizing it, waking it up. I mean, waking up and realizing like you have your own life, you know, live whatever life you got. Stop worrying about some people that's not worried about you. OK, yeah, they bind together. Yeah, they're together. Yeah, they're unified. Yeah, you know, you attack them and they transmuted and they just turned it into some other shit. Yeah, they do. Because that's what they do. That's their soul tribe. Okay. And it's based on water. It's based on love, connection. It's based on healing. That's the soul tribe. That's what it's based on. That's what I'm seeing here. We got the chariot energy. Once again, another energy of going towards the future, leaving that shit behind. Also, because it's on the Hierophant and the strength card, I feel like they're going to surrender it to whatever. Like, I mean, this person, I feel like this person is opening to God. I feel like this person has opened up to to like God consciousness in a way, like maybe not like on a high level, you know what I'm saying? But like on a level where they can understand that like something is in control. There is something in control. There is a direction of the world. There is a purpose. OK, there is something here. And it's like that is what this person is realizing that. The people before them knew this. The people before them understood this, but they probably did not tell them this. They just told them, hey, hate these people. But that's not it's not working anymore. It's not going to do any good. It's not like I mean, they've tried to attack these people. They've tried to attack these people. They've tried to attack these people. They've tried everything they possibly can to either exterminate, destroy, dismantle, 
shit, any fucking word, disseminate anything you can think of to get rid of somebody. I think they have tried it and it has not worked. These people are too strong. They're too bound together. Let me get something here. And they have a force and they move like the world. They move the world. They move the world forward. We have the five of wands. I'm trying to, I mean, I'm sorry, the five of cups, the five of cups. They won't let it go. It's like they're looking, they feel like they failed, like they're, how can I say, maybe their ancestors, maybe they failed their bloodline, maybe they failed their, their soul tribe or something like that. But they're moving towards love though. They're moving towards love. Like the same three of cups up here, this soul tribe, this powerful soul tribe, I feel like this emperor has the same thing, but this soul tribe is me was meant to, I mean, not meant to, but this soul tribe has aimed to destroy that soul tribe. And that's the three of cups. Soul tribe is three of cups for me, right? And then I have the three of cups where, I mean, I have the five of cups here with three cups knocked over. That's their soul tribe right there. And they got the black cloak on and they're like, damn, I done let y'all down. But they get love though. Two of cups is behind them and a bridge and a bridge. They get love though. They get love. Okay. They get connection. They get the closest thing. Somebody's choosing love and it's a beautiful thing. They're leaving behind some, it feel like a demonic ass fucking soul tribe that has been attacking like a loving soul tribe. That's what it really feels like. And we got the Ace of Sword at the bottom. I'm telling you, they have clarity about this. There has been some type of breakthrough. Okay, there may have even been some type of proof. Because I feel like the emperor is high enough to see the chessboard, if you understand what I'm saying, and they're still not winning. They're still not winning. And they're like, how? There must be something bigger than me. It says learning experience. They know. They know. They know. It says trust the universe. They know. They're going to leave this soul tribe alone for real, for real. But I'm going to leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.